back to my channel, sports fans. Okay, let's get into this one right here. Anthony Edwards is a coward. That's right. Anthony Edwards walks out after the Mavs defeat his Timberwolves in the Western Conference Finals. Ant-Man walks out in LeBron James fashion like a coward. A coward, I tell you. And look, tell me if I'm wrong. Maybe he was shaking hands on, on the go. I Look, the first time I seen him when the uh, clock hit zeros, they panned over to him and he was signing some shoes as he walked into the tunnel. The rest of his team, I mean, they were out there for a long time. I was shocked that they was out there shaking hands and giving love to the Mavs that long. But that's what the rest of his team was doing. They were showing love to the Mavs in defeat. Anthony Edwards was walking out. He's a coward. He's a coward. So uh, 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 about this game right here, look, uh, you, you guys got a lot of explaining to do. And we'll recap these whole entire playoffs from the east to the west on another video. But to me, this exposes the Lakers and how bad the Lakers really are and how LeBron needs to retire, right? He needs to retire. He needs to retire. So you had Denver who gentlemen swept the Lakers, right? And then you had Minnesota. It looked like that was going to be a sweep or like 4-1. And then it ended up going to game seven where Minnesota just put down the throttle in the second half. And then you have the Mavs that beat Minnesota on a gentleman sweep. So again, what does this look like for the Lakers? <laughs> if on down the line, the teams that beat them and then got beat. What does that say about the Lakers? And we'll have to have a, a whole different video about that. The LeBron James clown show, because that's all the NBA really is now. And if Bronny gets signed to a team, it just shows the lack of respect for their fans, the lack of respect for the NBA, the, the players playing in the NBA, players that came before Bronny that didn't get drafted who aren't playing in the NBA, this guy averaged four points per game in college. You guys got to stop it. Where's the outrage? If this is the most skilled era of all time, no way this guy should be, Brian should be making it um, to the pros off of his potential. He has no potential. He has no upside. He has no future in the NBA. It's ridiculous. This is probably something we will see if they claim the 90s was the weakest era of all time. This was something you would see in the 90s, right? Bronny making it to the NBA in the 90s. If you guys say that era was so weak that Kobe Bryant had to sit on the bench, the most skilled player uh, people consider, consider of all time, Kobe Bryant, right? <laughs> you, you you guys are idiots so look i don't know why this guy walked out like a coward um he didn't scream that much like a coward the entire game he did a couple times i guess he he must have seen people making videos on that and i said something about that old angry hoops fan said something about that but he didn't have a bad game he didn't have a bad game so i don't know why he walked out there was plenty uh times where especially when they played Detroit now they I think the Bulls played Detroit 88 89 90 they played them four times so I would say the the first two times it wasn't you know it wasn't really the Jordan rules they just had the better team right and they really didn't beat up Michael Jordan too much um 
so what I'm trying to say is it was times where Michael Jordan lost because the other team had the better team and he played his heart out, right? But he didn't walk off the floor. Um, so I don't know why Anthony Edwards would walk off the floor. The Mavs were just great. They was just a better team. You know, you would think with what Anthony Edwards put up and Cat put up, it would be enough. But I'm going to tell you why it wasn't enough. Not just only because, you know, the surrounding cast wasn't putting up, which I was kind of surprised. Where was McDaniels? Was he hurt? I don't even remember them calling this guy's name. I just now remember hearing about this guy. What happened to this guy? This guy was a big X factor and. You know, the entire playoffs, um, they couldn't stop Luka. Not only Kyrie, they couldn't because Luka got started early. And I guess somebody was heckling Luka in, in, in the crowd, which got him off. You might not want to do that. But again, nothing against Luka, nothing against Mavs fan, but this just exposes again how weak this era really is when we talk about this is supposed to be the most athletic era of all time which i don't even see it rudy gobert cat where's the athleticism i don't see it i don't see it um luka Doncic. you can't stop luka Doncic. i'm not trying to say you can really stop him in this era but you guys say this is the most athletic era of all time. You should be able to stop this dude. To me, this dude is more, less athletic than Larry Bird. Not even, I don't even think it's close. Larry Bird was making the, the uh, defensive second teams and stuff like that. When you can make all NBA in uh, all NBA defense. That's real athleticism to me. So, where's the athleticism? You can't stop a dude who can barely dunk, Luca. Wow. Wow. At least when Michael Jordan was getting beat by Bird, <laughs> this dude had, it, it was Bird. It was f what, four? Four Hall of Famers. You had Bill Walton. You had Dennis Johnson. You had Kevin McHale. You had Bird. You had Robert Parrish. I, I don't see that here. <laughs> I don't see that for the Babs. I don't see that. All I see is a plumber and his uh, flat earther friend. That's, that's all I see. So. I don't know how the most athletic era of all time can't shut this guy down to to, to 20 points and win this. Where's Anthony Edwards scoring these 40 points um, to win this series? To take to take this series seven games, at least. Where's these 40 points? Where's these 30 point games by Cat? Since he's he's the greatest uh, three point big man shooter of all time. Where's Cat? So on this team, you had a defensive player of the year. You had Cat, an all-star. You had Ant, an all-star, all-NBA. And you had, what, the sixth man of the year? What? And when we look at the Mavs, what do you have? A flat earther that everybody hates, the, the media don't like, and then you have Luca, a plumber. And nobody wanted the Mavs to win because, look, they don't like Kyrie because Kyrie left LeBron. And they didn't like Luca because they said SGA should have won the MVP or should have been second at least. And I think Luca was number two. And Luca shut that shut that idea down, right? 
the Thunder lost to the Mavs. <laughs> it was 4-2, wasn't it? Yeah, it was 4-2. So, I'm going to tell you this, man. I don't, I don't know if the Mavs can beat the Celtics. To me, the only way I think they can is because, you know, the Celtics haven't faced any competition. The Celtics haven't faced any competition. And I was thinking that Celtics just have a better starting lineup. But now I'm starting to look at it. I don't. I, I. I just don't know. I think the Mavs are playing with more heart than any team out there. I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens if Kyrie can continue giving you thirty points a game at the same time that um, Luca's giving you thirty points a game. You know, that's. You know, they're on the on par with Jalen Brown and, and Tatum. And then you take, you know, the two centers that the Mavs got, and they're, they're cooking. It's looking good. But you're, you're going to need, you know, a, a great team effort like they've been doing. The rest of the Mavs team, outside of, you know, you know Kyrie and Luka, this is big-time scorers. But the other guys are doing all the little things. They're playing big-time defense, big-time defense. You would have thought this was going to be Minnesota playing this big-time defense. No, it was the Mavs playing big-time defense in this series. Wow. Blowed away by Gafford and Lively and, you know, just the whole team playing big-time defense. So, to me, you know, Anthony Edwards, he lost a lot of respect for me. This dude got to stop crying, man. He he can't be the face of the league, and he's crying like that. Well, then again, they got LeBron with the face of the league, and all he did was cry and flop and complain just about his, his entire career since he went to Miami. Totally different guys. <laughs> if you remember, totally different guy when he went to Miami. He was totally entitled when he went to Miami. So yeah, you guys tell me what you think, man. I, whew, stayed up. I, look, I was gonna go to sleep like in the beginning of the fourth quarter, but the way you know things are today with the three, you know, it it was it was some points to where you know they cut that thing down to like twenty one, and then you you really didn't think the Mavs was gonna keep scoring, and and, and Minnesota was gonna keep uh, missing like that. It was times when okay, bam, Minnesota hit like two threes. Off of uh, off of the Mavs missing two times in a row, and you're oh here we go. And then it came down the Mavs hit again, and then uh, Minnesota came down and bricked it up. <laughs> and then Mavs came down and hit a three. It was like wow. So sometimes you felt like you know just because the Wolves were at home, it, you know twenty points, twenty one points ain't nothing. Uh, when, when we're talking about an entire quarter, that's nothing. You can get ten points just like you know. And, and almost three uh three pointers just like that three six nine boom you got that thing cut down to 11 you know what i'm saying so it was kind of you know I, I wanted to watch the whole game i was like man i, I hope the, the wolves don't come back boy but it was the defense to me it was the mass defense they was making sure making sure the wolves didn't come back that's all it was they was in these guys mug mug every time they shot they was in they was in their mug and you know it, what was it like the middle of the third quarter or something like that they just now figured they're gonna double on luca come on man come on now you want to double up on luca you must be crazy you should have been doing that all game been doing that all game and Again, what what happened to to Minnesota's defense? What happened? And let me say this too. 
the the officiating in, in, the, in the playoffs, the NBA is lousy. It's sorry. It's weak. It's horrible. To me, these aren't real refs. When I can just watch Anthony Edwards travel all game, going to the hole, this is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. I watched them call Michael Jordan for palming the ball. Two possessions in a row in the 90s. Two possessions in a row. And I didn't even see him palm the ball. But that's how, you know, on, they was on top of everything back then. I'm sick of watching Anthony Edwards travel. I'm sick of it. And then they sit up there and call somebody else for a travel on the damn perimeter. I sit up there and watch the, the, the Wolves bump the hell out of the Mavs all game, bringing the ball up. Bump, 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 bump. That's, bo that's a body foul. That's a body foul. Why, you didn't want to call it because it was getting blown off the floor? And w w when I saw, what's this guy's name? I forget this guy's name. The 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 six man for the Wolves. What's his name? I forget his name. Anyway, long dude with the dreads. He should have been out of the game. That foul that he took on Lively... I'm trying to tell you, if somebody would have took that foul on the Lakers or took that 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 foul on a star player like Anthony Edwards, they would have been thrown out the game. My man wasn't even trying to make a play on a ball. He just got beat and kind of like backhanded the guy. It's ridiculous. Nas Reed. And that guy had a horrible game. I don't know what happened to him. Woo. That guy had a horrible game. So it, it, it is what it is, man. But like I said, the big thing for me, Anthony Edwards, he lost all respect for me. And I saw this guy at the post game. What, what, what's this guy on? I mean, they, they wouldn't have to press her that fast, were they? Sweating bullets, sweating bullets. What you sweating so much for, bro? You act like they don't have air conditioner in there or something like that. What What are you sweating for like that? Yeah, bring me a towel. So to to me, for Anthony Edwards, we gotta stop making excuses. Oh man, he was twenty two, man, tired. Ain't this a because I heard him say that on a on a, on a play by play? Reggie Miller stopped. The guy just didn't come into the league. We saw that with Michael Jordan in this first playoff series against <clears throat> uh, against who was it? Milwaukee Bucks, right? You could say that man Jordan looked tired, right? His first playoff series. This is. If I'm not mistaken, the fourth playoff series, third or fourth, I know he's been in the league for four years for Anthony Edwards. Why is he tired? These are excuses. You can't be tired when you've been in the league this year playing 82 games every season and you've already been in the playoffs a few times. Stop making excuses for this guy. These are big games. You're going to have to put in the work. You're going to have to score more than 26 points. You're going to have to put up 36 like Luka. You're going to have to put up 40 points as a leader. This is what you're going to have to do. In these big games. And we saw LeBron couldn't do it consistently until... Whew, LeBron couldn't average, what, until his six finals? First time he ever averaged 30 points per game in a series. 
in, in the NBA Finals. I know this ain't the NBA Finals, but, bro, you, you're going to have to keep putting up spectacular numbers um, like you did in, 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 in the first series, the second series. You're going to have to keep doing that. This is the playoffs. These guys are, are weathered. Um, they're battle-tested. These Kyrie Irvings, these uh, Luka Doncic, um, e even if they would have played Boston, Boston is, is battle-tested. That's why they got a Drew Holiday, because he's battle-tested. He won the finals before. You know, Tatum and uh, – who, who is this guy? Tatum and, and Jalen Brown. They've been to the finals before. They 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 play, you know, LeBron and the Cavs in the in the playoffs before. These guys are battle tested. You're gonna have to get battle tested, homie. You're gonna have to be able to put up the points, be a leader. I, I know this guy's only 22 years old, man, but he really has a a, a really I, I don't know, like a 16 year old behavior. To me, he he doesn't act, you know, like a man. That's 22 years old. And I'm not trying to say you, you got to act like you're 40 years old or something like that. But when you're in front of media, when you're in front of uh, the, excuse me, when you're in front of TV and stuff like that, man, you just got to act humble and stuff like that, man. This, this guy, sometimes you, you just wonder what this guy, he's still like real playful and, you know, he still acts, acts like he's 16 years old at times, man. So, and like I said before, the way this guy dribbles, real, right, with two hands kind of like in front of you all dribble. Look, I ain't trying to say double dribble, but the way he keeps going back and forth like that, he's going to get ribbed in the 80s and 90s, man, this guy. I'm not trying to say he can't dribble, but the, just the way he dribbles sometimes, it's just like, it, it's, it's weird to me. So, you guys tell me what you think, man. Um, yeah, congratulations to the Mavs. Anthony Edwards, you walked out like a coward. So, um, you ain't got my respect on that no more, man. You, you, you just tell me what you think.